Today's lecture is on burn percentages. Now, as future physicians, you may encounter some patients in the emergency room with severe burns on multiple parts of their bodies, and you will need to rapidly determine and calculate the percentage of the body which has been burned, and you can do this with something called the rule of nines, which, as you can see from this diagram, most of the body parts in total have a percentage of the body which is a multiple of nine, and we will go through these right now. As you can see, from the anterior aspect of the human body, the head constitutes 4.5%, the thorax 9%, the abdomen 9%, the right arm, and as an arm, I am referring to the upper limb, both arm and forearm, and hand, 4.5%. The left arm, forearm, and hand, 4.5%. The right leg, which I am referring to as thigh, leg, and foot, is 9%. As well as the left thigh, leg, and foot, 9%. And the perineum, constitutes 1%. On the posterior aspect, it is essentially the same. 4.5 for head, 9 and 9 for thorax and abdomen respectively. The arm, forearm, and hand for both left and right are 4.5 and 4.5. And the thigh, buttocks, leg, and foot on both sides are 9 and 9. So, if we take a look over here, we can see that the head in total, 4.5, 4.5, is equal to 9. The thorax, 9 and 9, makes 18. The abdomen, 9 and 9, make 18. The right arm in total, 4.5 on the anterior side, 4.5 on the posterior side, 9%. The left arm, same thing, 4.5, 4.5 to 9. The right leg, we have 9% on the anterior side and 9% on the posterior side, which leads to 18%. Same thing with the other leg, 9 and 9 make 18. And the perineum is 1%. And if you add all of these up, we come to a total of 100%. But what if we have some scenarios that aren't as clean cut, such as just the anterior trunk, which would include both the anterior thorax as well as the anterior abdomen. This makes 18%. If we have just the posterior head, it will only be 4.5%. If we have the right and left anterior legs, so we have the thigh, leg, and foot, of the right and thigh, leg, and foot of the left, then we have 9 plus 9, which gives 18. If we have just the anterior abdomen, we only have 9%. And if we have the back, which would include the posterior thorax and the posterior abdomen, then we would have 18. And these are the basics of burn percentages.